right. All right, Eagles fans. It's happy Friday to everyone out there. Hope you're enjoying your Friday. If you haven't done so already, do me a favor. Drop a like to help out with the algorithm. Show your support for the channel. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the subject I'm discussing in this video. Let's get right into it. So Carson went to the subject I really haven't been talking about. Because I didn't want to really get into the drama of it. Now, this week, considering this is our first time playing Carson Wentz since we traded him last offseason, last year's offseason, well, now we got some more to talk about. So, Carson Wentz did an interview recently. So, it was posted by John Clark from NBC Sports Philly on his Twitter on Wednesday. A little clip of Carson Wentz where he indicated that he could have been better teammate and better person. I'm going to play a small part of that clip that John Clark posted to give my thought. So here we go. Perspective changes when a, you grow up, a, you know, you have you get married, you have to have a kid. You know, I think your perspective on life changes on, <clears throat> on your job, on work, on everything. And, and just, um, you know, I think there are, there's always things I look back on that, man, I could have been better here. I could have been better as a person, as a teammate, you know, lots of things. Um, that, that you do take for granted. And so I think, uh, I definitely thank God for the experiences I've had, even though. Okay, so that's the main part of what he said right there. So, with course, so that being said, now my thoughts and what he says sounds like a good thing right there. Saying that he's mature and that he's wish he could have done things differently. So it's a good thing to say, but am I so it personally? At this point, no, I'm not. I'm not full on the idea that he feels like he have been a better leader. It all sounds like the right thing. I'm not full on as of this moment. But he, now, some people will point to the statistical performances in week one and two and say that, oh, he's showing maturity. Look at his stats, his numbers. Remember, stats won't tell the entire story, number one. We're talking about week one, he's going against the Jacksonville Jaguars. It's going to be a deep rebuild. And week two against the Detroit Lions, he put decent stats, but the they didn't start scoring points, the commanders, that is, until later in that game. Now, think about it for a second, Eagles fans. You guys will know what I'm talking about. What does this remind you of? A team led by Carson Wentz's quarterback, getting walked thoroughly, getting their behinds walked, and all of a sudden they start scoring points in garbage time to make it closer on the scoreboard, but still lose. Now, what does that remind you of, huh? Oh, yeah, that, I think I know why. feel like... Some of you watches are getting warmer trying to think about it. You may have already figured it out. Okay. But it is similar to Carson Wentz's time with the Philadelphia Eagles. They look too bad. They put up embarrassing performance. Made it closer late, but still lose. So, week two performance had stayed shade similar to his time in Philly, so I'm not sold on it. Now, if Carson Wentz plays better as the season goes along, to his maturity as a leader as the season goes along, then maybe I could be sold on his remarks. But as of right now, I'm not sold on it. So that's what I gotta say right there. And you guys can let me know in the comment section what you think of these remarks. If you feel he's just saying it because it's the right thing to do. If you feel like he has been short, please let me know what you how you feel on it and why in the comment section. And the only last thing I'm going to say, though, is coming tomorrow, 1 p.m., I'll be doing a preview video for the Eagles Commanders Week 3 game. It's going to be a live stream, so be on the lookout for that. Once again, if you haven't done so, drop a like, help out with the algorithm, subscribe if you're new to the notification bell, leave a comment, let me know what you think. What your stance is why. Most of all, have a wonderful, safe Friday night. If you want to go out, get some drinks, do so safely, call an Uber, Lyft, taxi, or designated sober driver. Vicky Steez. Signing off.